Hello, I'm Nancy Carrier, and I'm with the Partner Enablement Team here at Acumatica. Today, we'll be discussing lien waivers in Acumatica Construction Edition. In Acumatica, lien waivers can be generated manually, or you can choose to generate lien waivers automatically when a vendor is paid. You also have several options for alerts regarding outstanding lien waivers. You can choose to get an alert when a vendor bill is entered and there are outstanding lien waivers for that vendor. Or you might want to be warned about outstanding lien waivers when you select a particular vendor bill for payment. You also have the option to stop payment of a vendor bill when there are outstanding lien waivers. You can choose to use any or all of the available alert options. Today, we'll see how to automatically generate a lien waiver when paying a vendor bill, and we'll walk through an example of each type of lien waiver alert. Let's start with the automatic generation of a lien waiver when paying a vendor bill. Here's a bill for spectrum painting. Let's pay this bill and take a look at the automatically generated lien waiver. From the Actions menu, you can initiate the payment process. This takes us to the Checks and Payments page, and the check transaction has been created in the status of On Hold. Let's take it off Hold, and the status will change to Pending Printing. Checks can be printed in batches or one at a time. In today's example, we'll just print this one check. To do that, you use the Actions menu and just select Print Check. On the Print Checks page, you can select the check or checks to be printed and then click Process. The check is displayed and is available for printing. Now that the check is printed, let's post this transaction. On the Release Payments page, the Action field is set to Release. You just click Process to post the check. The check is now printed and posted. The lien waiver has been automatically created. Let's go take a look at that lien waiver. From the Compliance Workspace, we have the option to print or email lien waivers. From here, you can use the Action field to either print or email lien waivers in batches. Let's take a look at the lien waiver document that was created. From the lien waiver report, you just select the lien waiver and click on Run Report. You can also print or email the lien waiver right from here. You can easily track lien waivers from the compliance list. At the top of the page are tabs for different types of compliance documents, including lien waivers. Here is the lien waiver that was created today. The lien waiver is considered outstanding if it's not marked as received and if the through date is earlier than today. Let's go ahead and change this through date, which will, in effect, make this lien waiver outstanding. To see the different types of alerts, we'll enter another vendor bill for the same vendor. The alerts will occur because of the outstanding lien waiver for the vendor. Vendor bills can easily be created directly from a subcontract, so let's open up a subcontract and create a bill. On the subcontract, you can use the Actions menu and simply select Enter AP Bill. On the Vendor Bill, there is immediately an alert next to the vendor name. This alert warns you that the vendor has one or more outstanding lien waivers. It won't stop you from entering and saving the bill, but it makes you aware of the outstanding lien waiver. The vendor invoice number is required and any necessary changes can be made. 
maybe I just want to enter a partial amount of the contract. And then we will take the bill off hold and post the transaction. Now let's take a look at what happens when we go to pay the bill. The actions menu can be used to initiate payment. An alert pops up warning us of outstanding lien waivers. Again, it won't stop you from continuing, it just makes you aware of that outstanding lien waiver. We'll take the check off hold and the status changes to pending printing. You can use the actions menu to start the check printing process. Because of the lien waiver configuration options that are in place, we receive a pop-up message and the payment process is stopped. Until the outstanding lien waivers are resolved, we will not be able to pay this vendor. When you click OK on the warning message, the check is put into a status of on hold and it's saved. you will not have to re-enter the check. It will stay in the status of on hold until the outstanding lien waivers are processed. Let's record the receipt of the lien waiver and see how it affects payment processing. From the compliance list, you can click on the lien waiver tab to track all of your lien waivers. Here's the lien waiver that was created earlier. Let's mark the lien waiver as received. You could also, at this point, go out and attach the signed lien waiver right here to the record. Now the lien waiver is no longer considered outstanding. When we look at the vendor bill, you'll see there's no alert next to the vendor name. When we look at the check, you can see no alerts are being displayed because there are no longer any outstanding lien waivers. We'll take the check off hold and print the check. No pop-up is displayed, again, because there's no outstanding lien waivers. The check can be printed and posted. Keep in mind that you have the choice to use any or all of the alert options. Today, we discussed the automatic generation of lien waivers, lien waiver tracking, and examples of the different types of alert options available for outstanding lien waivers. If you'd like more information about Acumatica, please visit acumatica.com.